Welcome everyone to Ozarks History. This is Vincent Anderson inviting you along to do a little sleuthing with us today. Uh, we have some images and pictures from the Corps of Engineers from 1948 into 1949 of a particular cemetery. The cemetery that we're working with today would be the Oakland Cemetery. And I think we have some little things to take a look at that you'll enjoy. And maybe you can help me out uh, on finding the answer for something that uh, we've come along to. And a little puzzled on what it might be. So let's go ahead and jump into what we're doing today. And remember, this is the Corps of Engineers negatives that we've had uh, possession of and borrowing for a little while. And we are digitizing and turning those into black and white and color photographs. And so we're going to jump right into it. We're going to take a look at our larger map here. This is the PDF map of the Corps, the Corps of Engineers created for all 55 cemeteries on the White River Valley from... Uh, Baxter County, Marion County, all the way up into Missouri, Ozark, and Taney County. We're going to start focusing and narrowing down on the Oakland Cemetery. And I have circled here Oakland, Arkansas. And there's the Oakland Cemetery right in the center of that. And the bottom we'll see, uh, we have the Anglin Cemetery right above. We have the Yoakum Cemetery a little bit above the left. We have on the other side of the river, we have Yoakum Bend Cemetery. Those cemeteries are very interesting. We are going to focus on those, have some fun. We're going to do some connecting with some genealogy of the families and how the structures are built in the future of the, of the graves and how the graves were actually covered and manufactured. But let's go ahead and get into the Oakland Cemetery today. And here is Oakland, Arkansas today. Once the lake came in, you can kind of see the bend on the left-hand side. of That's the river channel. Uh, this, then we'll circle right about where the Oakland Cemetery is located. Once was located, and that was exhumed. It's right about there. And now we are going to approach, come up the path from the old church there at Oakland, the church schoolhouse. And there was a path up behind the church and schoolhouse up into the cemetery. And as we take a look at this photograph, we can see a little bit of the water damage that occurred on the Oakland uh, photographs, the negatives. Not all negatives are happening. We, we, don't, we don't have a problem with all the negatives, just a few of them. The Oakland ones, they took the brunt of the water damage. So we're walking up the path into the cemetery. And right here, as we get into the top, we are looking toward the west. Uh, out across the rivers just a little bit below the cemetery here and we're looking west towards Marion County on into Boone County area and here is the cemetery and it's laid out in family plots and here is an, on the other side of the cemetery we're looking from the other side again and here's a wonderful photograph that I this this photograph is one of my favorites uh, it shows the church schoolhouse uh, in the background and I liked it so much I just decided just to enlarge that picture a little bit and give you a glimpse of what we can see there on the left hand side you can see behind the trees there is an old pickup and it's the photographer's pickup you'll see this pickup every so often in the background or to the side of the photographer uh, you'll get a snapshot and see his his truck in the background and there's the truck if you if you take a look and there is the church this structure this whole area is now inundated underneath the bull shoals dam and let's go ahead you know on on the picture also there was this there was this thing built here and i do not know the purpose of it unless there was supposed to be some kind of tree in there to keep the cattle from knocking it over or eating it or nibbling on it i do not know what this little tower is all about or this little structure is all about if you happen to know i have my email at the bottom or you can leave a comment at the bottom of this uh, video just kind of give us a shout out what do you think this is i i come along things i don't have all the answers and so if you have an idea uh, help me out it looks like there's a Kind of looks like a little cedar tree underneath there. I don't know if they're trying to protect that or, or what's going on. And we keep moving right along. This is another photograph on the other side. This is looking towards the east. And here's one of the um, 
graves. This is of Miss Mary Orcutt. This one, this grave was relocated in the new Oakland Cemetery. And as you can see, um, right in front of her tombstone, the tombstone has been broken and busted. Many of these have been busted prior to the Corps of Engineers showing up. Uh, there is a wooden stake with two little nails on the top uh, holding on to an aluminum strip with a number on there. And that number will correlate to the Corps of Engineers records stating who is buried there. And if it's unknown, it'll say unknown. If this one would say Mary Orcutt. And we showed this picture last week. And if you remember that I circled and put a little arrow right here for this little anomaly. And it looks like we have discovered someone. They've already started exhuming this grave here. And there is a small ladder and a coffin already being pulled up out of the ground. We're going to come back to this photograph. And right in the middle, there is a large tombstone. It's of a soldier. His name is George Billings. He is actually from Kentucky during the Civil War. He was a Union sergeant and he is buried here at the Oakland Cemetery. We know that um, also not just by reading the stone that he was a Union soldier, we can actually look at the shape of the stone and the shape of the stone is rounded right here. And let's go and look at it currently today. The shape of the stone is rounded on top. All Union soldiers have a round top tombstone. If it was a Confederate soldier stone, uh, it would be an apex like a little roof of a house with a little point to the top. And so it has two, it's, it's a little roof. And so Union is rounded and the Confederate stones are roof shaped. And we'll see more of these little Confederate stone roof shapes coming up in the future. And as you can see the deterioration, I, I saw that and I just kind of want to get a comparison. Uh, it's deteriorating. And so it's kind of taking the brunt of the acidity and the rain and everything else uh, i would ask you if, if you ever get the urge to clean a stone do not use bleach bonami ajax anything like that uh, you need to use something uh, substance that will not harm the stone something that we use called d2 and we're going to go here this is the new oakland cemetery this is the photograph uh, this is in 19 48. This is March of 1948 that this land was purchased. And then they're going to clear the land out to put in the cemetery there. And there's the photographer's pickup truck again. This is located about a half a mile south of the Missouri-Arkansas state line on Highway 5. And so we are from the vantage point, we are looking towards the Missouri state line up to Missouri. And at, this is the finished product, uh, the finished cemetery. This picture was taken in January of 1949. You can see the, the snow and the ice to the side over here, and you can see all the white tombstones. Uh, if they did not have a tombstone, they, they received a wooden marker that uh, was dipped in creosote to preserve it for as long as possible, and they painted them white. Uh, over time, these markers they started to rot away and there's very few I, I i don't even know if there's one left today or not and so here's another view this is again looking up towards missouri uh, with the oakland new oakland cemetery on the right hand side and this is just not the old oakland cemetery relo relocated to this area it is also the relocated cemeteries of uh, this one says here rabbit ranch we have the oakland cemetery the hogan cemetery and the yokum cemetery and we're going to start focusing on the hogan and the yokum cemeteries and the yokum bend cemeteries coming up uh, in the next few weeks uh, we'll also talk about the anglin cemetery i only have a couple pictures i think we have two pictures of the anglin cemetery there's not a whole lot there to the Anglin Cemetery, and it is just ravaged with um, trees and saplings and debris. Uh, the, the cemetery was just about a hopeless uh, piece of, oh, it, it, it's sad when you have a chance to take a look at that. And we'll take a look at that in the coming weeks. Uh, we may do that next week, I believe. 
And so there we go. Well, thank you very much for show, showing up and stopping by and visiting with us a little bit. Uh, I would ask you if you would please give us a thumbs up on the YouTube video and hit subscribe and tell your friends about this because we're going to be sharing a lot more on the uh, cemeteries and the relocation project all up and down the White River from Arkansas up into Missouri. So if uh, if it's, you're interested in some little area and we're not there yet, just give us time. We'll We'll make it there. And so thank you very much for stopping by Ozarks History. I'm Vincent Anderson, and I will see you again next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.